So we're at the house that my grandfather, George Baugh, he built it. And this, this was my grandparents' home. Nokomis, Mishomis, this is their this is their home. When this house was originally built, <clears throat> there was no running water. And um, and I believe there was about eight children being uh, raised in this, this little home. At the beginning, you were talking about the ash baskets. Would you mind giving us a little show and tell? Do you have one that's finished? Uh, you might have one. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. As the, Brandon uh, Patatagus is known in his community uh, as an Ashkabewis. The Ashkabewis is a very important role and is often thought of as meaning helper. Brandon is featured on the cover of the current issue of E. Gaging and agreed to sit with us for an interview this summer to speak about his family ties to the Robinson Huron Treaty. The Abojo, Bojo Ninde Mark and a duck, Miguetch, Kibijaye. Jenabe ngo tik mixing in donje o mashkos ndodeum my name is brandon patatagus my spirit name can be translated to uh, the kind man gijenabe the kind man um, when you look at the word gije you see that in other words in our language you see that in our word for creator uh gijemnado so you see the gije manado gijemnado and it talks about uh, the gentleness, the kindness uh, that the Creator has. So my name, Gije Nabe, Nabe is a man. So it's saying that uh, I embody the same kindness, the same love and the same um, gentleness that the Creator has. So I have to learn all about that word Gije uh, to live my spirit name. In 1850, when they had that gathering down in um, get the gone ZB or down that, that area in Garden River. Um, it was my distant grandfather. It was a great, 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 great grandfather who uh, who went there. Um, his name was Sean Agijic. And um, it's my father who still carries that name today, who carries those teachings, um, the teachings of all of our grandfathers. Um, Wabanimki and um, uh, Mungwa and Shawnagizik and all these names of these different grandfathers that we have in our community or in, in our family, I should, rather. Um, he, he still carries all of that knowledge. So <clears throat> that's one thing that I share when I go into schools, I go into different places where I'm sharing about the treaty. People want to hear about the Robinson Tree on Treaty. I lay a document on a slideshow um, and I just put it, in, I put it in front of everybody to see all of the names that are on that treaty. You can see all the names. And that's back when our people didn't have a first and last name. We, uh, our families, we knew our families by the clan system. And so you'll see, there'll just be a name, one name, and that's who you were. And that's our spirit name. That's how important it is to us. Like my name, Gijenabe. I don't say indigenous cause, because I say that's who I'm called. Um, I say Gijenabe de go, to say that's, how the spirits know me. And when I say to go, I am saying, I am, I am Gijenabe. And that means I am in my physical being, in my spiritual being. Like that's who I am in my complete form as I'm Gijenabe. So my distant grandfather, Shawna is his name is on there amongst all those other chiefs that signed uh, on behalf of our people. And we know that, <clears throat> um, it wasn't our people that needed the treaty. It was the uh, the colonizers, the ones who were coming in, the ones, you know, there was that story about those those miners um, north of uh, Garden River, way up there. Uh, I think it was like towards Wawa. Uh, they were mining copper and they were doing it um, without permission. And our people seen that and they were extracting our resources. And that's when we, uh, we went up there. There's a story about um, our folks, uh, we had a cannon that was, um, that we, uh, I guess we preserved or we kept from that war of 1812. We carried that on one of our canoes and we had a whole fleet of canoes go down that river. <laughs> and we went up into that river stream and we evicted those miners out of the territory. And they weren't very pleased. So those miners, they went to, to Ottawa. And that's when uh, they said, we need to do something about this, uh, this problem that we're having. You know, the, the natives, the Indians, they're evicting us now. Uh, we need to uh, make an agreement with them. 
so we can share these resources because we're living in the same space. And so they came to us and they put together their, their crew with uh, Mr. Robinson. Um, and then they, they traveled from community to community sharing and saying, would you like to be part of this? And um, most of the First Nations said, yes, we would. And so they came to us and we didn't need a treaty with them, they came to us. So I wanted to really share that. Um, and of course, my grandfather signed and, he, and that was to sign, um, it wasn't signing our land away. It was uh, an agreement where we were gonna share these resources. And um, you know, we, we receive an annuity every year and it doesn't match what, what comes out of the land today. They'll just start like peeling up. Always eager to learn from his first teacher, Tough, Brandon uh, seeks every to opportunity <laughs> to converse with his father, Art. Art was gracious enough to share yeah. some teachings with yeah. us during our visit with Brandon and discusses the teaching are. of the craft of ash basket making to his young family members. When we think about uh, you know, our way of being, our way of seeing in being in Anishinaabek, it's uh, different from uh, what we would say is the, the modern world the industrial world, where you look at the world from that side, from the perspective of uh, everything's an object, and that's built into the language. So uh, <clears throat> in our language, when you look at the world, everything is spirit. Those people that uh, have grown up in, an, in, a, in, in a Schnabek home the way that I have, you would see a different world. And in saying Shawanagijik to go, I'm respecting my ancestors. I am respecting a grandfather that uh, has an, had a name, and I'm privileged and have been, has been, I've been honored to carry that name as part of my, uh, my understanding of, of being and in, in who I am. So when I say that, I'm saying to people, I'm a spirit, and I'm living in a spirit world. That's uh, what you're indicating. So in our world of being in Ishnabek, we make that uh, better known through uh, indicating uh, our clan, indicating our Anishinaabek nose one. It clearly places you in the world of, in the home of being an Ishnabek. And uh, that's something important for us to uh, understand today and begin to uh, live again. So with these youth, I was uh, taking them down that road to, to do that work, to help them to begin to appreciate the uh, taking of a tree from the land, going out onto the land to uh, take a, a tree. When you go out there, you begin to uh, see uh, the life that's around you from a different view because you begin to uh, look at the, the trees and uh, I use the, uh, the birch tree as an example because it's easier to see when you look at the bark of the tree when you go look at these trees and if you look at the striations of the bark that are visible on the side of the tree some of those striations are long Okay. Some of the striations are short. And when you look at the trees which are around the tree that you're looking at, you will see that some of the striations are long or the striations are short. That striation marking tells you that these trees are related to one another. Okay. And you can see that very clearly in the length of the striation. Okay. So if you find a tree uh, that's having short striations, the adjacent trees will most likely be all having short striations. That tells you that there's a circle there and there's a family there of relationship among those trees. So you see there are, there are, there's life there that we come to uh, link with, come to visit with, come to know. And that's in part what we're wanting these young children to come to understand that they're going into a family and you're going to take one of its members. So with that tobacco, 
that we take, we go, when we go out there, we're asking for that forgiveness because I'm going to be violent, I'm going to take one of your family and I'm going to kill them. That's a, that's a horror, that's a violence, that's a, that's a, that's a trauma.